Hey YouTubers, I just wanted to get a quick video on how to get set up and start with Source Connect Now. Source Connect Now is a, uh, a program that allows you to talk back and forth with a microphone. It's kind of like Skype or Zoom or um, FaceTime or any of these things with a microphone component and not a video component. There's also a chat within it, um, but this is um, kind of fast becoming the industry standard as far as studio work is going. So Source Connect Now is a free beta version that works only on the Google Chrome browser. It is not compatible with Source Connect Standard, which is a standalone program which means if you are a studio and you have standard or pro or pro X, uh, you can't connect with somebody with Source Connect now because they're incompatible. They're completely different coding and all that um, technical stuff. But um, Source Connect now does work as a standalone thing. It's, it's a great thing for practice. Um, I have done sessions with it. And a lot of agents are going to say you need to have a professional studio and you need to have Source Connect. So this is the best way to kind of like get your feet wet and kind of figure out how to do it. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Source Elements and we're going to log in. And if you go down into your, you, when you sign in, you get to your dashboard. I'm going to go to Source Connect Now. Source Connect Now page is going to open up. Cool. All right, so for whatever reason, it has you sign in again. Don't know why. Okay, cool. Then you click Start Connection. So this is your page here. Send quality, great 128 mono. If you click on this, you can send stereo and receive stereo um, because uh, I'm primarily talking to uh, voiceovers and announcers. We're dealing in mono because there's only one you, one voice, one microphone. Um, so I leave it at great 128 kilobits per second and mono. Um, it helps to have an ethernet cable into your computer. If you can do if you can do so on my desk I'm on my laptop right now but on my desktop um, I am plugged in directly to my router and that makes uh, the connection a lot better we can use a number of guests so I've done a session earlier in the year where I had a voice over here myself on and then we had um, it was for like a small agency and they had the video editor and a producer and a couple creatives and maybe a couple account people. So there were maybe five people on the call. So you can add up to nine plus yourself. Okay. And then below that, you've got this guest pass. So when you're sending your inv invitation to somebody, it will be, um, you will send them an email and with their name and then the guest pass. If you click show my, my guest pass, because my source connect, ID is Hey Kressel. Um, it is Hey Kressel Guest. All one word, lowercase. Okay, so I'm going to click Connect Now, and it's going to when you go to this in Google. It wants you to save the password. Don't do that. Okay, so now you see we've got this window. Sending is Dave Kressel right here. Okay, and so you can see um, I'm sending, and the meter is reflecting my voice. So if you look over here, we've got Invite, Help, Test, and Sign Out. We've got our, our quality is great 128 mono. We're gonna keep that at that. Um, we've got internal microphone as the uh, as as the default for the microphone. I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna to go to mic plus, which is what I'm on. Um, that is plugged in a USB microphone. And then my default for my output is gonna be internal speakers, but I can also put mic plus so that I'm sitting and listening when I connect um, through, I'm listening through the microphone and speaking through the microphone because if you're doing a session, you can't have it come out your speakers because you're going to have a feedback loop. You're going to have the sound go from your mouth into your microphone through the ethernet to the other end. It's going to come back and it's going to come out the speakers and then go right back into your microphone and you're just kind of this endless loop and uh, that's not broadcast quality. So, okay, so here we go. Refresh with new settings. That's it. Now we're good there. There is a function in here. There's a recorder function. You can click that and you can record yourself in this. And then it will just create a WAV file that will, uh, I think, download to you after the fact. I think it's um, um, an hour. Uh, oh, 90 minutes each is, is the maximum. I have not used it. I have not needed to use it, but it is there in case you need. Also, there's this push to talk, which is a 
a talkback feature if you were a studio. If you were a voice talent, you probably don't need it because you need to have your microphone open all the time. But if you have this push to talk, it closes the microphone and when you click on it, then it opens up so you can talk to somebody and then you can, when they're doing their take, as a studio, you would close that so that it wouldn't be interfering the audio on their end um, that, you're re that you would be recording or so I'm going to go and invite my friend, Brian. And if you go here and you click invite, you've got your pass key here, right? I'm showing that, that's my pass key. So he will be typing that in on his end, um, Brian. And then I'm going to go to his email and I'm gonna keep it at great 128 mono. And I'm gonna include, I'm gonna click this, include my guest pass key in the invitation. So that's going to come up so he knows how to go. So then I'm going to send an email invite. And then that is been emailed to him. He will then get that and then you will see him enter in here. You don't need to download anything for Source Connect now. It's browser based. So you just have to get the link. It's just in the same way that you'd be doing a Zoom call or you'd be doing a Skype call or you'd be doing a FaceTime thing. You just click and link it up. Okay, so now I have have sent Brian an invite and he's going to show you on his end how that looks and we will connect. Okay, I'm waiting for a session with my friend Dave. I've got my background or my backup recording already going there and uh, there's my email. So I'm going to click on my email and make sure I'm opening it in Google Chrome and... There's the link, there's the pass key to get in. So it's Hey Kressel Guest. Let me click on my link here. It's opening Source Connect now. And I'm gonna put my name in here. And I'm gonna type in my passcode. And then that looks good for my audio settings. And I'm gonna connect. And there I am. I'm connected. I'm joining the call. And there's Dave. And here he is. So now hey. we are connected. Sounding good. Yeah. Hey, Brian. Hey. Um, so uh, how loud does it sound coming into you from me? Um, you sound pretty good. Okay. You're nice and clear. Okay. You are good. You could probably be a little bit louder. Sure thing. I'll bump up my gain a little bit. How's that? There you go. That's a little bit better. So if you're doing a um, a, a spot, um, the engineer is generally going to say, hey, how's your level coming in here just for recording? And they might ask you to amend that, make, maybe add more gain. So we've got two windows on this page. We've got one I'm sending as, as me and I'm receiving from Brian. We have identical um, meters. There is a recording function that Ryan, that Brian uses a lot. Do you want to talk about that? Yeah, I uh, I have a recurring corporate client that I do a lot of Source Connect Now sessions with, and so I'll record in my DAW in Audition over here, and then I always go to this little record feature here, click on that, and click on the record button, and then boom, I have an automatic backup set that's recording right into the web browser. Uh, in case something happens and my, my DAW crashes or something like that, uh, I have an automatic backup. It automatically generates a WAV file for me as soon as I click on Stop. It'll process that, and then I can select it and either download or delete it if I don't need it. And uh, you said you can do multiples. Uh, yeah, so, so the nice thing is minutes. it has a 90-minute uh, limit on it. So if you have a really, really long session... Um, you know, at 90 minutes, it'll stop, but you can stop that and just start a brand new recording at 90 minutes, and then you have uh, your backup good to go. Cool. And under that, there's um, there's a push to talk feature, which is which would be considered a talkback microphone. As a voiceover, you're probably never going to need that because you want to have your microphone open all the time um, because they are recording you. But as an engineer, I do sessions sometimes, uh, Source Connect Now sessions, where I'm recording somebody, their, their voice is coming in, and I'm recording it for another client or whatever. And so I might be recording into a, like into Pro Tools. And so I use this as a talk back to talk back to the client or the, um, or, or the talent. And so if you click this push to talk button, 
it closes. All right, now it's nice and quiet, and I can start my read. Right, and so Brian, uh, I will slate him, and I'll say, hey, uh, all right, so we're rolling. This will be Brian take number one, and then I will click the button, and it will close. All right, happy 2020, everyone. Woo! Okay, cool, and then so then I can open open that back up and then talk to him, and there's not a loop going back, so he's not hearing me looping back into his headphones while he's reading, which would be a distraction. So that's why we use that. I guess it's good uh, to bring up at this point that we should definitely make sure you have headphones on with this. Yes, that would be a good, that would be a good idea as well. Um, I have had, I, I do things sometimes where I am, you know, when I'm acting as the engineer, I'm not in a booth on microphone. So I am using my, um, my computer, the built-in microphone, and then I'm also using speakers. And so you will hear like Brian coming out my speakers and then right back into my microphone. So it's creating like this echo to him whenever I'm talking. But as soon as I use that push to talk and close my microphone, then that's how he can hear without any distractions and then he can do his read. That's how that works. Um, also, there is a chat feature under here um, um, where you, you can send a chat. Um, sometimes maybe you want to give direction to the talent with, other people knowing or maybe um, you're having transmission issues and uh, things you know like uh, the sound is going in and out and you want to communicate to them and you can do that um, while while you might not be able to hear somebody have you ever any other instances where you use that Brian uh, yeah I've had a couple times where I needed to connect with a client and they weren't really sure of what they were doing and uh, they didn't yeah. have their uh, their audio settings over here in the upper right, uh, right. selected this correctly. Here. Yeah. Yeah. And so and you have to do that and then refresh if you don't have that correctly, because you could default and have it on your internal microphone or a line in and you can't hear anything or your output is on the wrong thing. And that's how you're hearing the looping. So that might be a troubleshooting measure there. Um, anything else? No, I think that's about it. OK, so. To, to sign out of a session, you just click the sign out on the upper right here, and that's what Brian will do, yep. and then we are good to go, and there's our first um, Source Connect Now session. All right, thanks. And he is signed out now, and then I will sign out, and I'm back at the home screen. And that's how you do a Source Connect Now session.